What information do I need to provide to reactivate a deactivated SIM card? Hello there. Today we're going to guide you through the process of reactivating a deactivated SIM card. If you found yourself in a situation where your SIM card has been deactivated, don't worry, it's often a simple process to get it back up and running. Just remember that the specific steps might slightly vary depending on your service provider. When might a SIM card be deactivated? A SIM card may be deactivated for various reasons. This can happen if the SIM card hasn't been used for a long time, if there's been a billing issue, or if the service provider suspects fraudulent activities. Whatever the reason, your first step will always be to contact your service provider to identify the issue and find out if the SIM can be reactivated. What information will I need to provide? When you contact your service provider to reactivate your SIM, you'll typically need to provide the following information. 1. Personal identification information. This may include your name, date of birth, and address. Some providers may ask for a social security number or another form of ID. 2. Account information. You may also need to provide information specific to your account. This could include your account number, the mobile number associated with the SIM card, and possibly the SIM card number itself. 3. Security information. Providers often require additional security information such as your account password, PIN, or the answer to a security question. Please remember to only provide this information when you have contacted the service provider directly and you are sure that it is safe to do so. Avoid giving out personal information in response to unsolicited calls or messages. What steps will I need to follow? Once you've gathered all the necessary information, you'll need to follow these general steps. 1. Contact your service provider. You can do this through their customer service phone number, online chat, or by visiting a store in person. 2. Explain the situation. Inform them that your SIM card has been deactivated and that you would like to reactivate it. 3. Provide the necessary information. Give the service provider the information they ask for. They may ask for the details mentioned in Section 2. 4. Follow their instructions. The service provider will guide you through the reactivation process. Remember, the steps and the information required may vary slightly depending on your service provider. That's it. By following these steps, you should be able to reactivate your deactivated SIM card. Remember, if you have any trouble during this process, it's always a good idea to reach out to your service provider for assistance. We hope this guide has been helpful to you, and thank you for watching. Stay connected.